What up guys, my name is Maycloud and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a nice plugin. I'm sure you guys have seen me use it, use it in my videos a lot recently. So I'm finally going to talk about it a little bit and kind of give you guys my impressions and just my overall just, just review of the plugin. The plugin is called RC20, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to start off by pulling it up. Let you guys see the general layout of RC20. So if you guys aren't really familiar, RC20 is a retro color, it's an effect type plugin. So what I can do with it, see so it has different modules here from left to right. Just starting off, I love when, the pl when my plugins are just straightforward. Everything is just, everything is right in front of you as soon as you boot up the system or as soon as you boot up the plugin. Um, I don't have to just dive, you know, just go through different pages of modules, whatever, but it's just right here. You know, on the first module we have noise, then wobble, distort digital spacing magnetic so starting off with noise i'm gonna go ahead and pull up a a sample actually i'm gonna go ahead and play you guys um something on the piano bounce it out and then i'll use that as one of my samples so i'm gonna do that right now All right, so I have my loop here. I'm gonna go ahead and send that to our first channel, our first insert. Turn on RC20, go and close that out. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but this is the perfect time for this type. It is raining outside, and I'll go ahead and try to see if I can show you guys a little bit of it. All right, so back to it. Now that I got you guys in the retro space with the rain outside. Go and open up RC20. So what you can, I'll go ahead and turn off all the other modules right now and just start off with noise. So whenever you boot it up, it's gonna be on vinyl one and it gives you this really beautiful, you can hear that vinyl crackle in the background. I'll turn it up. Yeah, it gives it a nice little waveform so you can show, you can also mess with the tone a little bit. different knobs you can do to kind of just play with it, change the sound. The flux brings up and down that volume and kind of to make it give that, so as you can see it even tells me at the bottom, so flux adds all kinds of organic and non-linear fluctuations under the hood customized specifically for each module. So it kind of just dips out in volume, just kind of give it that like, you know, vintage type of feel. It's not perfect, you know. little volume adjust knob. I can just adjust the amount amount of noise I want. You can also have different noises. Vinyl 2, 7.5, 15, you know, tube. That one's all nice. Turn that down a little bit. Just mix it in. Go ahead and turn on wobble. Wobble is just gonna just essentially what it what it means is wobbling. Like I'll just turn it up just to kind of so you guys can hear it a little bit. Add some more imperfections to the sound. It's really kind of help bring the the sample to life. You know what I'm saying? Add some distortion. Tube distortion, iron distortion, crunch, heavy, just a bunch of different ones. I like two. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the digital knob. So the digital knob is kind of like a bit reduction uh, type of module. So I'll go ahead and turn it up just so you guys can truly hear. It has a rate and bit reduction. You can just smooth it out a little bit. A little EQ right here where you can kind of, fo it focuses on like, you know, the EQ range that you want to cut. So if I just unclick that, I assume it just turns it off. Put it back on, you see these little sliders, it tells you where I'm cutting off. So right now it's cutting off everything outside 100 hertz and up here, oh, it's just about 2K. And then just keeping everything within this range right here. Just 
re right now just really creating that nice vintage warm feeling that you want to get just from a lot of retro type of sounds. And I just turn on the space module. Space module is like a just a reverb, a really solid reverb module. I'll go and turn it on and bring it up a little bit. That sounds beautiful. You can just play with it a little bit at, you know, you don't have to stereoize it. I like I like things wide, so I'm gonna keep it stereo. I like the decay where it's at. That sounds beautiful. Then also, if you ever get lost in any of this, you can hit these little three bars right here, open up the manual, boom. I just recommend whenever you buy something new, a new plugin or anything like that, definitely check out, read the manual. You're gonna learn everything you need to know from the manual than any YouTube video. But obviously I want you guys to finish this YouTube video. And if you guys made it this far, please like, comment, subscribe. Check the uh, notification bell so you can keep up to date with all my content, but I'm gonna keep giving you guys the rest of this tour of RC20. So what Magnetic is gonna do is gonna kind of simulate as if you're trying to record off of a magnetic tape and just really try to replicate that type of old style sound. Bring it up a little bit, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more subtle. As you can see, it's, RC20 is really carrying the team on this, on this sample that I recorded out. At the, at the bottom, you have some extra effects. You have your in gain, so I can, your input gain, so I can pretty much turn this up. It's the sound that's coming into the plugin to turn it up. But I like where it's at. You also have an EQ, EQ knob right here that you can turn on and off with your different high pass, low pass cuts and whatnot. And I can just adjust the cut of this of the sound that's coming out. So it's gonna go through all these, go down here to the EQ, boom, and then go out. So, and you can also adjust your tone. You see right here, it says the tone amount, tone control with two mods, two modes, tilt and mid. Just to kind of control, you know, keep it just sculpting your sound as you're creating it in RC20, man. Just keeping it nice and simple. Everything's right in front of you. As you go over one more um, into the output, the output where what the sound is gonna be spitting out out of RC20, you can kind of add some extra width and then even turn up the gain a little bit, save things a little bit more quiet, just for you know the end result, just to kind of bring everything up a little bit more. So this is without RC20. This is what we first started off with. It's completely off. And now this is with it. Turn down the gain a little bit. That's just with one plugin. As you can see, RC20 is a completely versatile effect plugin. You can really get some really cool, intricate sounds with it. Just really nice, warm feeling sounds. Um, just to hit the mood that I got going on today, especially especially where I'm living at. Silent Sound, I believe Silent Sound is one of the ones that made this one. XLNT, yep, Silent Audio, my bad, Silent Audio. You guys can check them out. Um, I'm not sponsored, this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that, I just really enjoyed the plugin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I did. Let me know what you guys think about RC20, if you guys have used it, or maybe if you wanna check it out in the comments below. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for checking out my video. Later.